beautiful brown baby doll and I'm coming tonight to talk about VH1's decision to air Sorority Girls produced by Mona Scott Young and many others. If you look down in the info section of my video I have placed a link to the trailer down below just so you can kind of know what's going on. Now a lot of people will first off say well you're a member of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated and yes I have been a proud member of the sorority for 11 years now 11 years plus now. Why did you even watch the show? I don't owe anybody an explanation, but some people were probably secretly watching. I watched it because I wanted to see how they were going to portray people of black Greek sororities. Wanted to know for sure what people were getting a look at. I knew it was going to be buffoonery. I knew it was going to be tomfoolery. And I wanted to know firsthand before I said, mm, not going to participate. Throughout this show, I felt like the whole thing was a train wreck. The whole time you I was like, think you know what a sorority girl is? Huh? Think again. Every really? Week, I what? I know. Are you serious? All I saw was nagging, people burlesque dancing, people talking about people, people coming to people's jobs and talking crazy. I don't think I was happy with anything with this show. Mm -mm. Most of these women are 30 plus and should be about their business and not talking about who talking about who and what stereotypes what and I'm going to beat up this AKA this did a poor job of showing us in what we do. If you are one who don't know much about black Greek sororities and fraternities and you watch this show, boo boo you still don't know. The show represents nothing of sisterhood, true service, and anything of the sort. It's nothing more than every other reality TV show. The show tried to talk about the stereotypes, but then they started to try to feed right into them. Any organization, you find people who act the fool, cut up, and be silly. The Divine Nine should have been kept very much sacred. I don't feel that that was something that should be aired to the world. I feel like it was something that should have been kept where it was kept unless portraying something that they do positively in the community. I gave wonderful years and still give wonderful years of service to my organization and represent it well as an educated and strong woman of the sorority and became a member of my organization while I was going through getting my first degree. I joined my organization for reasons beyond being cute or being known and being all that. I had that before my organization. It certainly wasn't about joining a gang so I could gang up on other people or on fellow sisters and sorors. I feel like it was very much dramatized, crazy. All the actresses on the show, because they are actresses, were full of themselves and full of crap. And I didn't see not one person really working. Most people were fighting. There's going to be rivalry. There's rivalry in most every organization. Republicans and Democrats fight. However, there is a way that it is to be done. I wouldn't ever sit up and go to somebody's place of business or their organization or their work or something that they're doing in order to embarrass them and put them down. As a whole, the Divine Nine is supposed to be about sister and brotherhood. It is supposed to be about bringing the community together. And there are sacred things that are within it, such as the service, such as the sisterhood, such as all of that that goes on. Not these foolish antics that a lot of these women had going on. Now, what do I think? I think a lot of these women need their letters taken because I feel that they did a ugly disservice to all of these organizations. And furthermore, they've given a bad, even worse taste in the mouths of people who know nothing about our historically black sororities and fraternities. I feel like there's so much more that this world could be worried about than what some silly little girls are choosing to do. And yes, I said little girls. Look at all the nationals out there. Like when y'all snatching these letters, I'm just wondering. Let's be a countdown to it. Maybe after the season, something like that. Because these people can't be serious. <sighs> Lord. After this week, it's over for me. I hope that more people will continue to participate. Seeing that people are boycotting the ads and coming together with that to get this whole thing taken off the air. Something needs to happen because this show is no good. It is definitely not a good representation of those of us who did do this the right way. I felt like it was ridiculous and a mess. And Honestly, I think there's so many other depictions out there and so many other people that 
could have shown maybe even a good one time showing of what we actually do however everybody was since turned this show down if you feeling some type of way about this show please talk about it below please come to the youtube page tweet me with your questions and concerns instagram me let me know how you're feeling thanks so much for tuning in guys beautiful brown baby doll peace don't forget to check for me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter and keep up with daily updates and keep in contact with me. Subscribe to my YouTube channel now for weekly updates. And don't forget to check out my latest video, my weight loss and natural hair care playlist. There's so much for you there. Thanks for watching.